Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Karak Azorn playthrough where we are, well we are very much trapped between a rock and a hard place at the moment. We are being pressed quite heavily by, um, by the undead from the south, and by the greenskins from the north, um, and... Well, we're trying to hold at least. Um, we're trying to rush back up to our capital, which does have a reasonable garrison, but potentially not enough. And obviously we are building slowly a secondary force in the south, which is probably going to be used more defensively, at least for the time being, guys. Um, but yeah, things, things could be going better. Hmm... I think lightning strike. Yeah, I am pushing towards lightning strike purposefully, aren't I? Um... I'm going to take the attrition buff to uh, help reduce enemy, enemy forces faster. Because that, that seems like a useful thing for us. I'm really worried we're going to lose Karakazorn because it is the target as well. Oh, sh <laughs> we're in trouble. My throne stands ready. Harmony is. We're in serious trouble here, guys. For a reckoning. Why does he not get the war if I attack? It's a lot of trolls. Ready. Right, we are getting there. I'm, I, I think I can hold it. The question is, what do I do here? I think I need to fight. I'm not looking forward to this. We need to fight this, guys. I need to drive them back. If I let them siege me for a while, it's going to really make us struggle. So, I've just noticed, annoyingly, I have a dead pixel in my screen. Thankfully, it's right at a corner. So, it could be worse. <laughs> I hate it when you see that. And now, can I not be able to... If you've ever, any of you have ever had a dead pixel in your screen, do you find that you just can't stop looking at it once you find it? It's not an old screen either. Right, we are definitely using the terrain to our advantage here. Grudge thrower! For the ancestors! Slayers! Killers! Our fire undim! Slayers! For the ancestor gods, quarrelers, Barak's ready. Quarrelers. Right, and these Manus. guys are sitting back to be thrown in where needed. Because I, I say that they're not ranged, so actually. For the ancestor gods. These are, of course, um, thingy zombies. Thingy zombies is a technical term. Buffed zombies. Oh, let's hit those grave guard actually. Right, swap target now. I wanna spread the love. The goblobber's love. Oh. It's 
do that just to slow them. Because you get two uses of that, and that might be a silly use of it, but... Let's hit those crit ghouls. Nothing can stop us! On the way! Boom! Strike out! Selecting target! Oh yeah, shoot in here. Fire. Where they're pinned there, that's a really good place for me to be hitting. Open fire! Miners. And pin them! Let's start shooting! Pick your targets well! Move to attack! So we're pinning them in there. I know these guys aren't great at dealing with that, but we're, we're causing them to be pinned, which is useful. And when you consider, those dwarves are held for quite a long time. Nice! Well, that's perfect. Let's get my ranged over on there. You guys can counter charge on this flank. Let's get the counter charge going everywhere we can. So hitting those grave guards, we've done enough damage there. Let's get on those Crypt Horrors next. Right, you're coming round. You're, you guys are going to hit in the rear there. Let's try and break my miners out here so we can get them round the back. Nothing can stop us! Anu! For the High King! Right, switch to the Lord. Taking out the Lord will give them all a good, a good solid morale drop. Vengeance! Grudge thrower! Good, that was nice. Right, there, let's pop some the shells in there. Shell is ours. Oh, they're still alive. Oh, they don't die! Sorry, I was expecting them to disintegrate like most units do. They've actually come back. They've still got some Grave Guards somewhere out there, but if we break through this, that's perfect. And killing him will be a really good solid buff for us. War of vengeance! Slayers! Grudge thrower! Kill him! Right, I'm, I'm a bit worried about this flank, if I'm honest. I am the ranking lord. The are ready. Ah, there it is. What the ox? Right, oh, hit them. Right, no, we need support Fly here. Sorry, no, staying on him. He's about to go. Try and push through that gap. Good. One more volley. One more volley. Right, let's switch to those crit fiends now. No, one of you can stay on there until he's dead. Into the rear there. Charge. Yes, 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 yes! 
Not you. Oh, that was beautiful. It was close. I think we were on the verge of breaking, guys. I think it was very, very close there. Um, my my grudge thrower and my slayers. And that, that minus from below. I don't know which of the mods is giving me that ability. But it's good. Um, and that, that saved us because it meant they didn't all hit us at once. And actually my grudge thrower could really pick them apart there. I'm s no, no, that definitely was beneficial for us because I split their, of course they're forced to split. Uh, we will take the buff. Unfortunately, it's new vamps, so they won't be completely dead. Go. He does not need a root marcher as he's playing defensively. I was attempted to go for Grimnir's heirs there for the um. Sorry, it went quiet because of the uh buff to slayers, obviously. But long run, that's not so useful. Though, I shouldn't necessarily be thinking long run at the moment. But I made them fall back. And actually, I might even be able to push Grimtop in a turn or two. See, this was what I was worried about. I'm going to auto it because it kills them all. To war! For the wisdom of the Into the settlement <laughs> we go. Whew. Let us begin. And I want to save a bit of dosh. My axe he says while planning his next spend expenditure. So as I've got more than 2k, I'm fine. See, I'm also technically a war scaven as well, which is a bit of a worry. Nope, saving money to build up, but increase my assessment. Good. And soon, if we once we get to tier three, that means we're going to be able to start getting some of the shiny mechanized. The Dowie revolution, the Dowie industrial revolution, will happen, and we'll start getting some steampunky units in. Kruger there pushing towards us as well. Um, the question is, do I let him siege me and try and push out? It's always a, a risk, because technically I'm safe for being sieged. But if I can take him out before he even gets to me, that's Draw also off. good. It is time. No. Yes, for the wisdom of Valaya. Me if you Oops, shouldn't have done that. Now you are here. You shall serve me in death forevermore. Ooh. Yes. Let's for now, in. I will accept it. So I've pieced out with the the undead. For now, this is. Very much a for now. We will return and we will kill them all. Let us begin for the wisdom of Valaya. Go then. We are getting Alric Steelbeard. Who needs naming, guys? Um, to the north. Sorry, I've I've pre-recorded quite a lot of these, so if you have requested a name. I'm, it's entirely possible that I've missed it. Um, while I'm currently being wired against here. Um, so basically, if you've requested a name, next episode will be when it's potentially going to go in. Time for a reckoning. Come on. 
Oh, it's goddamn Grimgore again, isn't it? As the High King commands. I'm saving because I'm a coward? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That, that's the reason I'm a coward. I'm saving in case Grimmy sieges and I can't beat it. I will probably accept an auto against Grimmy, uh, even though I lose everything, because those losses will be balanced by the fact I wipe him out entirely. Um, and Grimgore is a lord. Grimgore is a lord you auto against, because Grimgore is just terrifying to fight. Um, there are some lords you are much better to auto against, and Grimgore is one of them. So I do apologise for doing it like that, but at the same time, I don't. Let us begin. My axe thirsts for war. What? Ready? Never. No. Move. I love it when it does this. Time for a reckoning. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we still got all of my normal guys. Right. Save some room for some regiments for now. Actually getting another unit of slayers in isn't a bad idea either. For the wisdom of hmm, we're gonna the actually yoink stuff like the goblobber from these guys. Summon me if you dare. My axe thirsts for war. There we go, and I'm also gonna get the extra replenishment and stuff from the blue tree. Let us begin. There we go. We are in a good position here, actually. We're in a much stronger position, and we're potentially going to try and push. Um, I'd like to try and push back, uh, and... Because Grimgore's not too far north, though I'm at war with a lot of people. And uh, we do technically have Skaven to worry about, but if I can push them back a bit... Recap here. Um, Alric will remain the Southern Sentinel. For the wisdom of the layer. Time for a reckoning. I'm leaving that for one of these guys. Uh, My axe thirsts for war. Onward. Just say that I might do a bit of merging. Summon me if you dare. Yes. It is time. I'll do. The wisdom of Valaya. Beards in belts. Let us be about this. Now he's going to march this way. I'm going to get rid of the expensive slayers. <laughs> just to give us a bit more income. He's not going to build up too quickly. Because I obviously want to save my money for buildings and stuff. Um, Let oh, us actually. begin. Should have sent him that way. Our grudges will be settled. I need to get that. My axe thirsts for war. There we go. I'm quite happy with our position now. I mean, well, we know the undead will go to war with me again. We know Gorse will go to war with me again. So that's something I definitely need to keep an eye on. But. Good. Again, I'm being a little cheese in autoing simply because I know if I auto, I will get a complete victory. Um, I really need to fix that because it's a bit cheese. Time for a reckoning. One rack. Onward, fight! 
to Slayer, I don't care, as I can definitely re-recruit to Slayer in seconds, so... There we go, we have a new Slayer. Our Quarrelers are better. go. That's useful for the extra growth to be there. For the wisdom of Valea, summon me if you dare. Oh, that one's off to... It's odd. Sorry, some of the positioning of things is odd. Not the dragon blooded. Where there is understanding, give me money. City come up, wind shaper. You need not face our might if you prove cooperative. Oh, yeah, wait, I'll, I'll get that as time goes on. There's no rush to that. Thirsts for war. What? Let us begin. Okay, three turns until I've got the next level. Nope, 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 nope. Lightning strike, full lightning strike, extra replenishment, and then inquiring mind for the reduced upkeep. There we go. While I've got other people I'm at war with here, I think I might be able to knock Grimmy out quite quickly, which would be solid. But I don't want to get cocky, because Grimmy is Grimmy. And I probably still have a war going. And there we go. You're a pretender. Denied. Oh, they're bloody vassals of somebody. Oh, he's not. What could you possibly offer me? That is annoying. Though, if I'm honest, I think taking out Grimgore is more important than let worrying about if here will fall or not. Here will definitely fall, but it's not the end of the world if it falls. We'll see where he goes. Because he's raiding my territory at the moment. There's every possibility he won't actually do anything. Ooh. Well, it looks like Gorst has other problems than me. Thankfully, because it looks like the pox makers are kicking his ass. Which is good. My throng stands ready. But also bad. The dragons. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. It's good because he's useful for for distracting him for the time being. It's bad because, well, it is time. I don't I necessarily want to be uh, fighting the pox makers either. either. Time for a reckoning. Okay. My axe thirsts for war. And there's another Karak I can get. There's a the Northern Hold. Karakvarg or Varg. The Northern Hold, which will be a nice position for me to hold up in the north as well. Um Argor. Oh, he's gonna get get got 
if I can get there in one turn, I will. Um, yeah, we, we, we look to have broken the line. Oh my god, Gorse seems to really be struggling. I might actually have to get involved out there. On to glory for the ancestors. Yeah, you see. He uh, is very corrupted and it may end up just abandoning. Though it's a Titan's Notch, it's a good position to... It's a lot of bad guys around there being the problem. But no, 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 I'm interested in other things. I think we need engineers. So, mountaineers, uh, missile infantry. Not the best missile infantry, but it's anti large armor piercing. Um, monstrous infantry, dot, 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 dot. You'll have to wait and see. Obviously, gyrocopters, juggernaut, bolt throwers, mobile artillery. And I mean, as we go up, war machine, placeholder, drilling machine, earth borer, thunder barge. They're what we really want to get to long run. And some seriously cool things in here. Juggernauts, mobile artillery, gyro carrier. Um, which is its own special thing and its missile strength is insane. Crank gunners. Uh, Grint, Hammer Torpedoes, and Sappers. Let's have a look. Cause I think there's other buildings I can get which get me um, thingies earlier. I thought there was nothing. Oh, and we get, there's a different type of slayers I can get as well. Axe and pistol, which just sound hilarious. Please tell me they can fire whilst Yes, they can fire whilst you it's moving. That just sounds hilarious. And we get the Great Hall. But yeah. Starting working on our yes. mechanized stuff. We, we are going to head to Amble Peak for the time being. There we go. So a Titan's Notch is going to get taken, and then we are going to turn around and take Yeti Peak. Let me dark. guess, you're declaring war on... Oh, he wants a non-aggression pact. No. <laughs> nope, he is not getting that. I love the fact they hold pig barter. It's just such a weird position for, for them to hold. Oh shit. What? As I mentioned, guys, I'm I'm more interested in wiping out Grimgore. Than I am dealing with them. Regiment of Renown, Torsen Citadel. Hmm. But I'm not seeing them. I danger of multiple mods, I suspect. Summon me if you dare. Stand yeah, I thought he still got stuff right up there. For, For the now, I'm not the keeping the Titan Slotch. We're going to abandon it. I want the extra garrison. 
Oh, I say that. No, I want to be able to get get some of the units from there so I can really upgrade my armies. Fire mouth is lost no matter what I do. So I'm not gonna worry about that. And I, I, I was aware of the potential for it falling quite quickly, so that's fine. Um I'm more worried about dealing with Grimmy in my area, which we seem to be doing nicely, and by leaving Titans not burned and disposed of, it just puts a little bit of a barrier between us. They will probably raise here. No, nope, they're actually taking it for a change. That surprises me. To war. Again, I may even lose blood, lose blood peak, and they may come here. I also uh, don't want to be losing the growth, but at the same time, I want to be building things up. Don't want to be wasting the money. I mean, it's not necessarily wasting it, but yeah. Because I, I suspect I'm going to be at war with uh, Nurgle soon, which will be extra fun. Kroger's back. I thought that was going to happen. It's fine. Again, this is fine. I'm not actually too worried about this. Oh, they only raided. Because this is all new territory. I'm not... I would have preferred to keep it, but I think actually what the way I've done it is better. To war! Diplomacy. Obey me. Time for a reckoning. Uh, I'm just meaning this way, just in case. And now let's finally get those walls going up. That is my capital. It should be defended well. So we're going to double time around the back. Hopefully they're all of each other. Ooh. We are going to hold here. We move. Let us begin. Not that we can afford anything. What's the upkeep? <laughs> but their stats are quite nice. Uh, 40, their melee defense is nice. Their melee attack is good. Their weapon strength is good. And they've got quite cool abilities. So, yeah. Juggernaut bolt throwers as well. Issue is, they're all quite expensive. Then again, dwarves are always quite expensive. And the other issue is, I need to get my main army back in order to really be able to uh, deal with it. Perfect. That's absolutely fine, mate. 
because I'm just going to turn around and kick your butt. And they appear to be have a run out of war. Ah, so they settled Titan's Notch. Oh, and I may even get support here. No, uh, it's a close victory, no losses. I'll take that. What? Ooh, they've got a second army. <laughs> it is Let's just drop everything out for the time being. Onward. For the wisdom of the way. I think I'm gonna recruit a few units to bring in. They are seriously expensive to recruit. Aye. Time for a reckoning. Nice. Inquiring mind is good for the upkeep reduction and the research increase. Which also yes. ups my income substantially. Um, so my income is going far, go, very much going the right way. We're in a good, solid position now. We unfortunately need to keep campaigning in the north, so I may actually peace out. I may give a non-aggression pact to Gorst. I know, but... How could he move that fast and I couldn't? Like, seriously, how can they move faster than me? That's infuriating. My axe thirsts for war. Forwards. The what? Agrees. There's no dwarf here. It is time. Don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. So they are quite cool. Ooh, what's that? Obstacle defender. Uh, affects all allies. Don't know what it actually does. The unit can defend obstacles like defensive stakes. Keep. Okay. Ah, okay, they put stakes and they can put cow drops or stakes in the ground. So, yeah. Hmm. We'll start with two of these. And I'm going to get a couple of those. Let's compare. Interesting, neither stack can fire whilst moving. It's mobile, so I'll probably get one. I, I want a couple of them as well, though, because they, they sound cool. And then, yeah, I'm probably going to get at least one of them. This is being slowly built up to be taken north, is the plan. Yeah, basically, for now, I am going to I am gonna get the non-aggression pact with uh, Ghost. Because it means I don't have to worry about him at all. And it means that he's not worrying about me as much. So he can focus more on Nurgle. On 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 Nurgle's boys. Good. Good. Summon me if you dare. I know it's going to make some of those uh, grudges last a bit longer. But... Oh. oh, he doesn't want it anymore. Well, bugger. Favored daughter. For the wisdom of Valaya. <laughs> By the grudge bearer's will. Hello. Hmm. 
I'm gonna risk it. So I need to hope that Gorst actually goes under a bit of pressure, but it looks like they may have pieced out with each other. I am still aware of Skaven, but they seem to be doing their own thing at the moment, which is good. I think they're technically fighting the Orcs as well, so... It's all good. Oh, double timing back, are you? It's not going to help. Anad, my axe thirsts. What? So we will still hit Titan's Notch before we head back this way. And I may... And I, I want to take this region because Karak Vlag will be a really nice blocker. A position to hold. I know there are ways around, but from there I can potentially move fast enough to deal with anything. Let Let's uh, begin. fill that one up. And that, guys, is where we're going to leave it for today. So we're in quite a solid position. I'm quite happy with how we've done. We've expanded a bit. We fended off the Orcish attack, which we're struggling. We have made east for the time being down here. We'll see how long this lasts. Me. I have better things to think about than your petty desires. I am going to throw them a bone to try and just keep them on side for the time being. See what Fine. I did there? See what I did there? That wasn't on purpose. But yeah, basically if I can keep him on side, that's beneficial for me. So, because I don't want to war down there while I'm doing all this fighting in the north. And we're getting some shiny units here. Um, which will be helpful. Let's grab one of those and I want some... We're going to spend a couple of turns getting ourselves some long beards in as well, because they, they provide buffs to everybody around them. And then we'll probably, yeah, once we've got three long beards, or three or four long beards in, we will probably march north to uh, go and uh, join these units into the other army. Anyway, that is, as mentioned, where we're leaving it, so thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this, please do like and subscribe. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That is uh, Monsters Abound. Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Protaru, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you everyone for watching. Cheers all.